Hello everyone and welcome back to the Saints for the channel for Salam the Content with some I can't really say breaking news but big big news of course you'll probably know watching this Mark Hughes has been sacked by Southampton, he's no longer our manager and the timing seems a little bit strange given that we drew 2-2 against Manchester United on Saturday however I think the decision had been made before the game actually kicked off and look, it's the right decision, fans are going to be satisfied there was plenty of um, Hughes out uh, including myself, I wasn't too die hard I have to say but there were some, some fans who were really passionate about getting Mark Hughes out of the club and he's gone now now, just going to go through uh, how I found out. I've gone through this with Matt Markstone, who runs the Southampton Delivery Podcast, and the episode I've featured on will be out on Tuesday. Basically, I was sat in history on a Monday morning, obviously today's Monday, uh, at college, and my phone is vibrating a lot, because obviously I've got it turned off in so notifications don't sound, so I don't obviously get embarrassed by having a phone go off in a lesson. And my phone's vibrating in my pocket, and I'm like, well, like, I'm, what, I'm not sure what's going on, but I kind of think back, and I think back to actually, funny enough, I was in the exact same lesson when Les Reed was sacked, and my phone kept going off. Like, something must be going on with the club, because, like, my group chat notifications are going off. Uh, people are texting me, like, have you seen, have you seen? And so I was like, Mark Hughes must be gone. He, he must be sacked. So I check my phone very briefly, like, under the table, and I'm like, I just see the text from my dad, Hughes, sacked. Um, and I was like, okay got the lesson, had a look properly, but the first thing I thought was, oh god, who are the bookies um, sort of lining up to replace Hughes, because that was the main worry for me, if we were going to sack him, were we going to go for a sort of a typical survival post-Brexit English manager in sort of a Sam Allardyce, a David Moyes kind of uh, character, and I was, I was really positive with what I saw, because, okay, Moyes has been linked, you know, Sky have said he's interested in the job, I think, who wouldn't be interested in a Premier League job, especially someone like Moyes. But the bookies, and not only just the bookies, but major tabloids, the Telegraph, Mirror, Daily Mail, reporting that we're lining up a move for Ralph Hasenhüttl. Now, I think I'm pronouncing that right, it's Ralph. And, you know, he's someone I was interested in, in this back in the summer when I thought maybe we'd just let Hughes go because he was on a short-term contract. Uh, but obviously we were sort of too nice, that's the term I used in the podcast with Matt, we were too nice, we gave him a three year contract where really we should have been ruthless, said thanks for keeping us up but goodbye because you're not going to take us forward, get a new manager in and hopefully we go on from there, that's not the case. But everyone will know him really for his Leipzig work and we'll go into that in a minute, but overall he seems like the person we need, sort of fits the build, attacking football, sort of entertaining as well, getting the results. But the other manager who has been linked is Kike Sanchez Flores, who was obviously manager of Watford in their first season back in the Premier League. Got them to 7th around December time, I believe, but then they had a really negative downward spiral. And I think they finished around 14th that season overall. Flores left, um, but he had taken them to the semi-final of the FA Cup as well. So it was a decent season for Watford and a bit harsh in Flores' case. But it seems like the main man will be Hassan Huttel. And we'll go into his Leipzig work. That's what he's uh, best known for. Leipzig were promoted to the Bundesliga after the 15-16 season for the very first time. Obviously, RB Leipzig, RB stands for Red Bull. They're heavily backed by Red Bull, the major company who make the energy drinks, of course. So they've got a lot of financial um, backing. And they've gone from a ridiculous rise, something like down in the 7th tier all the way up to the Bundesliga. And they did that in about 8, 9 years, maybe 10. I, got, I don't know the stats spe specifically, but what happened was Hassan Hüttel came in to take them to take over for their first season in the Bundesliga and my god was it an impressive run they uh, ha, when have you ever heard of a team who was promoted finishing second in their first ever top flight season and okay you know there's a lot of prejudice in Germany specifically about how Leipzig are being backed and it's not fair and they break financial fair play rules and all of these things at the end of the day their squad's quite young meaning that they need a coach, a really good coach, and that's exactly what Hassan Hüttel is. He managed to coach this young squad, okay, he had decent financial backing in the transfer window, but you know, they were still promoted and quite a few of their players had actually played in the uh, Bundesliga Zwei, which is like the equivalent of the championship. Okay, and then the season after that, they didn't do as well. They still qualified for Europe, I think the Europa League, which they're playing in now, 
but Hassan Hüttel uh, decided to step down after that season. Now, he's, av he's been available since stepping down and what most fans are really excited about is the fact that he's worked with Paul Mitchell who obviously left Southampton to go to Tottenham with Pochettino as their sporting director but then went to Leipzig a few years ago and has been there since and obviously his name's come back up to become our new director of football so if he was to come back and Hassan Hütter would join him as well as manager I think very many fans would be incredibly satisfied with that that would be fantastic business um, by a board who don't really know anything about football it seems and obviously don't have a director of football in place, it's just a chairman and an owner. But as well as Leipzig, Hassan Hüttel took Ingolstadt from the bottom of the Bundesliga Zwei to survival and then the following season to the Bundesliga and then they finished 11th I believe it was in their uh, first Bundesliga season. He stepped down, went to the, got the Leipzig job and obviously we know him from that. But he seems to me, if we're going to compare him to any sort of typical manager, he seems quite like Jurgen Klopp, not just because of his tactics but also because of his rise from the bottom, you know, he's coached at sort of really raw level. He's made his way up the coaching ladder and, you know, fair play to him. And it shows really that he's a very good coach and exactly what we need. Okay, yes, he hasn't got Premier League experience, that, but is that really a necessity? I think for me what's important is the fact that we go out and start getting results because obviously we need them as soon as possible. The longer we don't get a win, the longer it's going to take and the harder it's going to be for him to motivate the players. Well, not motivate essentially, but to get the result out of the players. But what's promising for me is it's not like the board have sat back and just accepted that they've got to go for a manager who will keep us safe. They've gone for a manager who could potentially not only keep us safe, but push us up into the mid-table over the second half of the season. And that's something that I'd really be keen to see. And every, every fan would be, obviously. But just a final note before we finish this video. Obviously, thank you Mark Hughes for keeping us up last season, but I, I felt like the board made the wrong decision keeping you because, you know, we've seen what happened with Stoke. Um, thank you for Crystal Palace away, the best ever away day I think I've had in recent memory. That was absolute class, but we haven't seen a win since then and the results haven't come up. So, look, at the end of the day, football's a harsh business, but if loads of fans wanted him gone and he wasn't getting the results, there was no other way, really. And just as a quick disclaimer, Kelvin Davis will be taking charge of the game at Tottenham on Wednesday. OK, that game, for me, was a write-off anyway. Um, but it's nice to see Kelvin going to get a little bit of a chance at the top. Obviously, he's not going to become full team first to full-time first team manager but it'd be nice for him to still have a sort of an assistant coaching role um, when the new manager comes in and it's likely to be Hassan Hüttel. Thank you guys for watching that is the end of the video do let us know in the comment section below what you think of the appointment of Hassan Hüttel obviously it's not confirmed yet as I record this but it seems very likely that he's going to be the new manager. Also what do you think about the Mark Hughes sacking was it too late was it too early did he deserve it and of course please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel with getting more numbers on board which is great to see ahead of our busy Christmas schedule and until the next video thank you for watching and see you then